Hi everyone, this is the weaving project I'm working on today. This is a twill that is in beautiful fall colors. This is a pattern called Autumn Asymmetry by Matt the Twill Guy. Matt makes lots and lots of twill patterns that are fabulous, so I hope to film more of his work. This is a Pro Loom. I am using 27 pine, four daffodil, eight tiger lily, eight cayenne, and seven burgundy. I tell you all the time, whatever colors you wanna try out, try those out. I wanna remind you the difference between the legs and the loops. This is one loop, it has two legs. You need to remember that because we are gonna be splitting the loops today. So this is, uh, Burgundy, cayenne, tiger lily, daffodil, tiger lily, cayenne, burgundy. That's what I'm working with today. Everything going up the other way is gonna be pine. So that's not gonna to be too hard to remember. At least I don't think so. Okay, so we're gonna start by going under two, over two, three times. And when I say two, I mean two legs. We have to use the language of legs today, so one, two, three of under two, over two legs. Then we're gonna go under one leg, over two legs, under one leg. And then we're gonna do five, over two, under twos. One, two, three, four, five. Then we're gonna do over two, under one, over two, under one. Then we're gonna do three over two, under twos. One, two, three. All right, under two, over two, under two, over two, under two, over two, under one, over two, under one. Five over two under twos. One, two, three, four, five. And then under two over one, under two, excuse me, over two under one, over two under one, and then under two over two, under two over two, under two over two. All right. Get your pine, <coughs> excuse me. Whoops. All right. See the little splitting of this loop that's starting on this daffodil section here? All right, row two is going to be three over two under twos. One, two, three. And then we're going to do over one, under two, over one. Then we're going to do five under two over twos. One, two, three, four, five. Then we're gonna do under two over one, under two over one. Then we're gonna do three under two over twos. One, two, three. Okay. Over two, under two, over two, under two, over two, under two, over one, under two, over one. Five under two over twos. One, two, three, four, five. Then under two over one, under two over one, and then three under two over twos. One, two, three. This is a really pretty pattern for fall. Just beautiful. Okay, now row number three. Get this thread here. Get this thread here. <laughs> Row number 
three. We're gonna be do a, doing a lot of packing down these rows, so. It's intricate work, so we need to pack the rows down. All right. Row three is going to be three under two over twos. One, two, three, and then under one, leg, over two, under one, then five over two, under twos. One, two, three, four, five, and then two, over two, under ones. One, two, and then three, over two, under twos. One, two, three. Okay. Under two, over two, under two, over two, under two, over two, under one, over two, under one. Five, over two, under twos. One, two, three, four, five. Then two, over two, under ones. One, two. And then over two, under two, over two, under two, over two, under two with pine. It's always going to be pine going up the side here. <clears throat> okay, row four. Now well, we need to pack these guys down. Pack, pack, pack. I always say make friends with straightening your rows, especially when you're doing something as intricate as this. All right, row four is going to be over two, under two, over two, under two, over two, under two, over four legs. One, two, three, four. Then five under two, over twos. One, two, three, four five, then under two, over four. You notice we're going over the daffodil here and here. Then three under two over twos. One, two, three. So to repeat, over two, under two, over two, under two, over two, under two, over four, five under two over twos. One, two, three, four, five under two, over four, and then three, under two, over twos. One, two, three. With pine. Okay, row five. First we need to pack these down, I'm telling you. Pack, pack, pack. Okay, row five is going to be three under two over twos. One, two, three, then under four, the daffodil, then five over two under twos. One, two, three four, five, and then over two, under the four daffodil, then over two, under two, all the way across, over two, under two, over two, under two, all right, three, under two, over twos, one, two, three, under the four daffodil, five, over two, under twos, one, two, three, four, five, over two, under the four daffodil again, and then over two, under two, three times there. Okay, row six. You know what I'm going to tell you, pack, 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 and 
snip, snip, snip. Mm -hmm. Matt really loves doing twill designs and he is good at it. So we are all blessed that he will share this with us. Okay, row six is over one leg, one. Then we're gonna do six under two over twos. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then we're gonna go under four. The four are the middle burgundy. Then we're gonna do six over two under twos. One, two, three, four, five, six, ending on over one. <clears throat> All right, over one, this guy here over this guy. And then six under two over twos. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then under the four, Burgundy in the middle, then six over two under twos. One, two, three, four, five, six, ending on the last over one leg. We're doing legs today. Legs, legs, legs. Okay. Pack, pack, pack. Okay, row seven is going to be over two, under two, three times. One, two, three, and over the four daffodil. Then five under two over twos. One, two, three, four, five. And then under two over the four daffodil like here again. And then under two over two across to the end. Oh. Over two, under two, over two, under two, over two, under two, over four legs. And then five under two, over twos. One, two, three, four, five. And then under two, over four. And then three under two, over twos. One, two, three. We are on row eight. First, we will pack these guys down. Okay. Row eight is going to start with over one leg, under one leg, over one leg. So look, over one leg, under one leg, over one leg. Then we're going to do five under two over twos. One, two, three, four. Five. Then we're going to do under two, and then we're going to do over the middle four burgundy. And then five under two over twos. One, two, three, four, five. And then under two, and then the same as the beginning, we're going to go over one, under one, over one. So, over one leg, under one leg, over one leg, and then five under two over twos. One, two, three, four, five, then under two, then over these four in the middle, then five under two over twos. One, two, three, four, five, then under two, and then over one leg, under one, over one at the end. We're on row nine. 
course, we're gonna pack these guys down. Okay, row nine is going to be three under two over twos. One, two, three, and then under four, under the four daffodil, then five over two under twos. One, two, three, four, five, then over two, and then under the four daffodil, and then three over two under twos. One, two, three. All right, so under two over two, under two over two, under two over two, under four daffodil, five over two under twos. One, two, three, four, five, then over two under the four daffodil again, then three over two under twos. One, two, three. Okay, row 10. After we pack down a few things here. Helps if you have nails. <laughs> or we have tools also. This is a this is a good tool also if you like tools. All right, row 10 is gonna be over one leg. Then we're gonna do six under two over twos. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then we're gonna go under the middle four burgundy. Then we're gonna do six over two under twos again. One, two, three, four, five, six, ending on over one. All right, so over one leg, this guy here, and then six under two over twos. One, two, three, four, five, six, then under the middle four, burgundy, then six over two under twos, one, two, three, four, five, six, ending on over one. Okay, row 11. After we pack things down, okay, row 11 is going to be three over two under twos. One, two, three, over four, the four daffodil, five under two over twos. <coughs> One, two, three, four, five, then <clears throat> under two, over the four daffodil, and then three under two over twos. One, two, three. So three over two under twos. One, two, three, over the four daffodil, five under two over twos. One, two, three, four, five, under two, over four, and then three under two over twos. One, two, three. Okay, row 12. Pack, pack, pack. Okay, 
zero, 12. I'm gonna be over one, under one, over one. And then five under two over twos, one, two, three, four, five. And then under two, over four, the middle four, and then five under two over twos, one, two, three, four, five. <coughs> And then under two, over one, under one, over one. Okay, so over one leg, under one, over one. And then five under two, over twos. One, two, three, four, five. And then under two, and then over the four guys in the middle. Then five under two, over twos. One, two, three, four, five. Then under two, over one, under one, over one. Okay, row 13. Pack, pack, pack. Okay, row 13 is going to be under two, over two, three times. One, two, three, and then we're going to go under the four daffodil. Then five over two, under twos. One, two, three, four, five, then over two, and then under the four daffodil. Then three over two, under twos. One, two, three. So three under two over twos, one, two, three, under the four daffodil legs, five over two under twos, one, two, three, four, five, over two, under the four daffodil legs, three over two under twos, one, two, three. Pack, pack. You're on row 14. That's still packing. Some people pack heat, we pack loops. <laughs> oh, I've been watching too many Westerns. Right, right. Okay. Row 14, which is the middle, yay! It's gonna be over one leg, and then six under two over twos. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then under four, I must've screwed up here somewhere. Let's see, over one, six under two over twos, one, two, aha, uh -huh. three, four, five, six. I knew I had to be under those four guys in the middle, so I knew I had to go backwards. Okay, then six over two under twos. One, two, three, four, five, Ending on over one. It's really easy to get confused with these because sometimes you're doing two colors like that together. So, okay, over one leg and then six under two over twos. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
then under the four guys in the middle, and then six over two under twos. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then under the last, excuse me, over the last one. Row 15 is going to be easy peasy. Yay! I'm for that. Okay. Row 15 is going to be over two, under two, all the way across. Yippee! fancy just over 200 to all the way across <laughs> two two just kind of check it that looks fine Pack, pack, pack the fifteen. Okay. Row sixteen is going to be over one, under one, over one leg. And then five under two over twos. One, two, three, four, five. And then under two over the middle four. Then five under two over twos. One, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> and then under two, whoops, over one, under one, over one. Okay, so over one, under one, over one, five under two, over twos. One, two, three, four, five, and then under two, over the middle four. Spread them out a little bit. Okay. Five under two over twos, one, two, three, four, five, then under two, and then over one, under one, over one. It's getting a little tight, so I'm going to switch over to my safety pin. Some people use hair clips. You guys use whatever makes you happy. Row 17 is going to be another easy one. Okay, row 17 is going to be under two, over two, all the way across.
Okay. That was under two, over two, all the way across. So, looks okay to me. Pack, pack, pack. Look how pretty this is. Man, so, so pretty. All right. Row 18 is gonna be over one leg and then six under two over twos. One, two, three, four, five, six, then under, under the middle four, then six over two under twos, one, two, three, four, five, six, ending on over one. This is so tight. No, no. Guess I should have stretched that guy a little bit more. All right, what do we just do? Over one, six under two over twos. One, two, three, four, five, six. Under the middle four, six over two under twos. One, two, three, four, five, six. And over the last one, Row 19, first we're gonna pack these guys down. Nineteen is gonna be another easy one, over two, under two, all the way across. Okay, <clears throat> that one was just over two, under two, all the way across, and we started with over two, so that's a good thing. <laughs> oh, it's so easy to flip your overs with your unders, your rights with your lefts, I'm telling you. Okay. We are on row 20. Row 20 is going to be over one, under one, over one. Then we're going to do five under two, over twos. One, two, three. Four, two, three, four, five, and then under two, and then over the middle four. You can kind of see how it starts to form. You can see the middle four there. Then five under two over twos, one, Two, three, four, five, ending on under two, over one, under one, over one.
So again, over one, under one, over one, five, under two, over twos, one, two, three, four, five, and then under two, over four, and then five, under two, over twos, one, two, three, four, five, then under two, and then over one, under one, over one. All right. Row 21, easy peasy. Under two, over two, all the way across. Okay, so row 21 is under two, over two, all the way across. So, did we do that? We started on under two, so that's a good sign. <laughs> oh, you think I'm kidding, I'm not kidding. <laughs> all right, row 22. Over one, and then we're gonna do six under two over twos. One, two, three, four, five, six, under the middle four, And then six over two under twos. One, two, three. Okay, row 22 was over one, six under two over twos. One, two, three, four, five, six under the four in the middle, then six over two under twos. One, two, three, four, five, six, ending on the last over one. Row 23. Row 23 is going to be over two, under two, all the way across.
Okay. So 23 was over two under two all the way across. It's okay. Pack, pack, pack. Row 24. It's going to be under two, over two, all the way across. What a pretty design, eh? 25 is just going to be the opposite, over two, under two. All the way across, two legs. Okay, so that was over two, under two, all the way across. Uh, okay, pack, pack, pack. Okay, row 26 is going to be under two, over two, all the way across. Two legs. Under two legs. Two legs make one loop. If I'm doing a, a weave, if I'm doing a video that doesn't have any split loops, when I say go under one, I usually mean one full loop. But when you have legs... You gotta say it the other way to keep track of yourself and what you're doing.
Look how pretty that is, you guys. Oh, just gorgeous for autumn, for Thanksgiving season, Halloween season. Just beautiful. I'm telling you, Matt, the twill guy, he's got some serious chops when it comes to designing these things. Right for the last row, we're just going to do the opposite of what we did. So we're going to go over two, under two, all the way across. When I get to the end, I am going to check my lines, the dreaded checking of the lines. Dun, 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 dun. And when I say that, I mean I'm going to check the straightness of the lines. I mean, not to be crazy, but just to do a little check up on how they look. You don't have to go crazy. I mean, they look pretty good right now, but I'm just going to like double check and see. Now, if you have good nails, you can straighten things with your nails, but then I'll show you this tool you can also use if you want to do that. You can buy this online from Amazon, also at Walmart, if you want to use that for straightening the row sometimes. If you have good nails, you can poke your nails in like this. It's up to you. Some patterns are so intricate that I do use that tool because I can't get in where I want to go. time I do this, I think of that song, Straighten Up and Fly Right. I think Nat King Cole sang it. <laughs> Always goes through my mind when I'm doing this. And I would sing it for you. I truly would. Except for I think there would be a copyright violation. And I don't want to do that. Mm -mm -mm. I guess I'm going to have to make up my own straightening song. If you're going to take the time to do this, you may as well do it right. I mean, you know, don't kill yourself, but you might be happier if you do a little straightening. Okay. 
and it helps if you have a uh, knitting needle. If you're weaving with a knitting needle, this will help you straighten things because you can just stretch it across like this and you can see more or less what you need to do. We say if you learn patience in the smaller things, you will have patience when things happen in your life that are much bigger and require patience. You will have exercised your patience muscle. may seem like not so much, but it is going to give me a little bit more room at the end when I need to bind this thing off. So that's a good thing. I'm for more room for binding off. Ooh, it's so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna start at the top right here to bind off. Lift this loop here, and I'm gonna pull the loop next to it through like that, and then I am going to put this loop back on as an anchor, and I'm also gonna use it for my ring. Now, some people do not use this method for um, anchoring. Some people use um, binder clips, so you guys might try that if you want. You're just trying to keep the thing together while you are binding off so it doesn't start crashing in on itself. You don't need to put a ring on these if you don't want to. You can take the last loop and weave it into the back. I like rings myself, because I like to hang these up. Also, I think rings are a very secure way of completing these things. but other people weave it into the back, so whichever way you wanna do is good. Some people aren't ring people, they don't want rings, they just want a square weave, and, that, and that's fine too. 
I always tell you guys, make yourself happy. Whoop, that wasn't good. I'll get one of these guys. I'll get this yellow guy. Okay, when I get to the end of this row, I'm going to be back at the beginning and I'm going to use my first anchor loop as a loop to hang my ring on. So this guy here is my first guy. So I'm gonna pull him through. He's gonna be my loop for hanging a ring on. Then I'm going to pull these anchor guys back through a little bit. Gotta work with it a little bit. Let's see here, this guy. back down Let's 
yellow guy. How pretty is this, you guys? Wow. Gotta clip some threads here, but look how pretty is that? Mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna put a heart ring on this one. You drop the ring on like a hula hoop and then you spread the loop like a shawl around your shoulders, like that. There's all kinds of rings you guys can get on Amazon. I encourage you to go out there and see what trouble you can get into. I'm telling you, you can get into lots of trouble. <laughs> Thanks, Matt. This is just gorgeous. I hope you try it, everybody. Have a good day.